Quick Takes with Ed Masterson. What, what is pressurizing a room? You know, it's, it's kind of funny. That's sort of an audiophile uh, uh, term. It's, it, I suppose it's almost being used a little uh, in a slangish manner. But, you know, when you, uh, especially the kick drums, the deep bass notes and the kick drums, when they get really big, you start to, in here, okay, when the room is pressurized, everything in the room starts to shake. Your chair, you can feel your chair vibrating, you know. At its best, your pant legs and stuff start to shake, you know, and you, yeah. you can feel the hair in your head moving and stuff. You know, it's a, a, you know, you're fully immersed at that point, you know, complete acoustic immersion, which is something I enjoy a lot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah that's uh that's actually an excellent example of that i've had a lot of people listen to that recording that would never listen to that kind of music i mean i don't listen to that kind of music very often i have to admit i do like it occasionally but as a demonstration of the far left end the of reason the, uh, frequency why, spectrum yeah it's, it's it's like why would you ever need that much power in this big a speaker okay well, for some people, they may never care to play that. If you don't want to fire up a Metallica concert, which I would like into this this experience, Metallica's got some pretty impressive concerts. Um, but if that's not important to you, then you don't necessarily need the, the ability to, to pressurize the room to this degree. You know, my goal here is to be able to, to pressurize a room like a concert, but with the fidelity necessary for the most gentle orchestral performance. You know, they're delicate, I should say, the most delicate orchestral performance. Um, I wanted to do both. In fact, I'd like to combine those into the same performance somehow, but <laughs> you know, I go back and forth. When, um, in the, along the, the same path, when we watched, yeah, Avatar, when we watched the movie Avatar in here, by having that pounding bass hitting you in the chest when that helicopter is flying into the, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, a rainforest on the on the planet, you know. That was critical <laughs> to, get, to feel that. That was so critical. Well, and for movies, you know, people don't even realize theaters, the commercial theaters, they don't really go low. They have, they have good bass. They go loud, okay. They have good loud bass, but they don't go low. And, uh, and they don't have the fidelity of the mid-range. You know, the mid-range just tends to just be in your face. Um, it's not enjoyable, so to speak. When you, when you, I mean, we just went and saw the new big Star Wars, uh, The Last Jedi. Okay. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was a tour de force as far as movies go. Uh, technologically, it was, it was fantastic. The, the sound effects were amazing, but, uh, it's funny, I sat in that theater going, man, I can't wait to hear this in my theater. <laughs> it just wasn't that impressive. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. <laughs>